Welcome, welcome to this live stream, everybody. We're going to chat about AI presentation makers, and we're going to discuss the latest updates, top tools, and much more. If we have never met before, I'm Zawan Al-Balushi. I am an assistant professor at the University of Arizona. So as, an, as a professor and as a teacher, um, this has been like 20 years experience in the education system. I use presentations almost every day in every class. They help me to create content, think of the logical order of the content, and also um, help me use or choose the images that are relevant to that content as well. So before we get started into the agenda and what we're going to do today, I would like you to just uh, type in the chat where you are watching from. So like type your country. Let me just put that banner as well. So type your country as um, we're starting. And if you're a replay fan, I would like you also to comment um, regarding your country as well. So let's get started. So this is what we are going to do today in this um, live stream. So here we have, so here's the agenda. So we're going to start with defining what we mean by AR, AI presentation maker. There are different definitions and people understand AI presentation makers in different ways. So I'm just gonna tell you what A means. So we'll be clear on that definition as well. Uh, the second part of this live stream will be about the top tools and the capabilities of these tools. So I'm gonna share with you the benefits that provide us. And also I'll give you some examples of tools that I have used and I think just best feature these capabilities. On the third part of this live stream, we're going, I'm gonna compare. So I tested eight top tools using a specific topic and I'll compare them on the um, items like the time it took to process uh, the slides, also the quality of the content and the images, the theme selections, and also if there's an export or download uh, feature available in the free plan. So that we are going to do later. So let me see this, okay. Now, one thing I just wanted to make clear, this, is, this live stream is not to show you step-by-step -step guide or demonstration of how to use these guides. I have two other videos where I talked about on the first one, um, which was uploaded five months ago, I talked about four top tools, Slide AI, Slide GBT, um, Magic Slides, and Tom. And I also showed you how to use them um, as well. I also made uh, another video a week ago, and in that video, I talked about eight and compared them based on similar factors. So if you want step-by-step -step guide, you will find them there. I also wrote a blog post, if you are interested to see the links um, to these tools, which I also touched on how, like briefly how to use them as well. So this is the blog post that I wrote. And if you're watching this as a replay on YouTube, um, you will find the links in the description. All right. Um, first of all, so I said I'm going to de define what I mean by AI presentation maker. So it's an AI software that uses AI to generate slides. And it does certain things. So it curates contents because it selects certain content. And second thing is it selects relevant images as well. Third thing, it divides the materials into distinct slides, so it will organize them. And similarly, in the fourth point, it organizes the whole presentation into a coherent and logical order and structure. So AI presentation maker, the way that I mean here is a tool that 
does everything for you. So you just enter the topic and it gives you all the information, all the slides ready um, to just use. Now, there are certain points that we're going to touch on in a minute and how to use them once they're generated. So here are some eight uh, presentation tools that you will hear me talking about in this presentation, but there are more. So if you have used any of these tools, I would like you to uh, type in the comments um, before we get into uh, the bulk of this presentation. presentation. So which AI presentation to have you used? And would you recommend it? Why? Have you used any? And what do you think of it? So that will be great to post in the comment. And here we have in the comments, so people post regarding the country, we have US, and then we have Oman as well. As people joining this live, it will be great to see where people are watching from. So let's go here. All right, so the first thing that, um, the first thing that I want to talk about regarding the capabilities of these uh, tools is this speeds up the presentation creation process. So it just makes it fast to create these presentations. And here we have, I just posted here an example. Let me just remove that banner and put the second one. So we'll be all right. So I just wanted to talk about the, how fast these AI generators can be. So for example, we have this Tom app um, that took only 12 seconds. I'm, I'm sorry, the seconds has disappeared. So 12 seconds to be generate such a content. You see how rich that content is. And uh, if, you, if you notice, the images are also very relevant, very detailed and align with the content that uh, the slide is talking about. That's one example. So it, it makes your process of generating these slides fast. Another advantage is it creates actually visually appealing slides and layouts. So let me just um, stream this as full. Maybe it will be more clear. OK. So this is another example. So this is. Uh, from gamma.app and notice how the visuals are also stunning and amazing um, and they actually align or very relevant to what the slide is talking about. Notice on the second slide how these, the format of the slide and the different images that have been selected by these AI tools is really amazing. A third benefit is it ensures content relevance and accuracy because it gives you content that is very relevant. And we're going to touch on that accuracy part in a minute, but they, they will be very relevant. And here I have an example from Slides GBT. Notice how the introduction, like it even proposes, suggests into, um, titles and subtitles to your slides. So uh, the one on the left is uh, introduction, overview, planets, and sun. So this is giving you an idea of what is being mentioned in that slide. And if you notice in this, in these slides, we have footnotes, the speaker notes that will be useful if you are um, talking online or also if you are even presenting in person, they'll be very helpful for you to just know what you can talk about. I also wanted to let you know that there is another tool called Send Steps that also gives you these speaker notes, which is really amazing. So if you notice in the middle at the bottom part, it just tells you. So it the slide is there and also the speaker notes are presented underneath. Another benefit of using um, these AI presentation makers is I'm, I'm sorry this is okay so we have i just wanted to draw your attention that to this statement while ai tools can generate content it's important to ensure its accuracy and suitability for your target audience 
Additionally, verifying the content accuracy should be a top priority to maintain credibility. So not everything that this AI will present or generate is accurate. You need to double check and make sure that they align with the target audience level and proficiency that you want to present or project. Okay, let me see the comments. Okay, so I have some questions as well. So we have some Arabic speakers, which they asked me to, if there was a chance that I can translate, definitely. So we'll come to the Q&A session and I will ask these questions and translate them for sure. So if you, if you are an Arabic speaker, you can write your comments in Arabic as well or questions. Another benefit of these AI um, presentation makers is they maintain a consistent style throughout the presentation. Here I have an example from Simplified AI where I asked it. So this is the topic I'm talking about today, the solar system, which I tested across different tools. I just wanted to give you an idea of how that looks like. So here we have um, four slides. If you notice the up um, top left, uh, that's the title page of the slides and the rest of them follow the, a similar style. The content is different, the images are different, but the style is the same. So I know when you choose themes in PowerPoint, it also gives you a chance to just like uh, be consistent throughout the theme, but these um, AI makers or tools will make it easy for you to do that. All right. Another feature or benefit is some of these tools actually provide or offer translation uh, if you are not an English speaker. Here's an example uh, from Send Steps. So when you go through that process of telling the tool what to generate, it will ask you certain questions. And this is one of the questions. So let me just do this. Okay. So this is one of the questions that it asks, what, what language would you prefer for your presentation? And it gives you for this one, uh, it has 86 languages. So Send Steps has 86 languages. But just to let you know that in the free plan, only English is available. I actually wanted to, to generate something in another language, but since I'm using the free plan at this moment, I just, uh, I couldn't make that one. So just to let you know, but if you find send, send steps, something that you want to pursue or explore more, maybe, yeah, joining a paid subscription will be helpful if you want to generate in different language, in a different language. Another capability of these AI presentation makers is they tailor presentations to suit a specific audience. Although we are at a stage, there's a lot of development um, in these AI tools. We still like they're being developed, so we don't see the full picture yet, but here are some examples. So I use the chat GBT plugins. So chat GBT has plugins that also make slides, but just for your information, these plugins are for paid subscribers. So we have, I experimented with two of them, Smart Slides and Slide Maker. And here, so for ChatGBT, as, as you know, you can customize it and tailor it. So here I wrote in, in the prompt, create a presentation. Let me see that. Create a presentation um, with five slides about the solar system for fifth grade students in the United States. So. I made it more specific what I wanted uh, from these slides. And so it can align the content with the level that I'm targeting. And here is what it produced. So we see the four slides here. The and if you notice, if you look closely at the language, you'll see it's a manageable or simple language that a fifth grader can understand. 
And again, these have been produced by Smart Slides um, as a ChatGPT plugin. Another feature that I wanted to mention here as well is it can tailor your presentation to the tone of voice that you want. For example, this is an example from Send Steps, and it gives you the tone. It asks you to choose which tone of voice you want these slides to be. So we have four options here. We have neutral, casual, persuasive, intellectual. So you choose which one um, that you want. Another feature in Send Steps, which amazed me as well, it can also produce quizzes um, on the slide. So these are some of the slides generated. I just asked it like a, a topic, like generate, um, it will ask you what type of the topic. So I typed the solar system and then I got like 10 to 15 slides or 20. And th at the bottom, there were a lot of quizzes regarding the content that has been presented earlier in the slide, which was cool. So if you're interested, you can try that because it also helps you to produce quizzes as well. A different feature that um, gamma.app and some other tools as well provide is once the slides have been created, you can edit them further. So, for example, in Tom as well, you can edit the language, the text, the images, everything. So you'll see that uh, if you notice on this screen, you'll see on the right side that bar of different things that you can do. And this also is available in many of these top um, slide makers or presentation makers. But I wanted to draw your attention to something cool here. So you see on the top, right corner you see the word ai here i wanted to explain with this and they call it the ai design partner let's see what it does so i found this was one of the slides that was generated uh, when i asked gamma.app to produce slides for the solar system topic so i noticed that this slide has no images and i'd love to have images on almost every slide that's me all right, so I asked the AI something. So when I clicked on that AI, this is what I got. So I'm your AI designer, and it gives you some cards. So these are some prompts that it asks you to use, but you can also um, type um, what you want exactly. So I, want, I knew what I wanted. So I wanted two images, one, two images for this slide. So this is what I did. I typed add two images on this slide. Okay, so this, this was the result. Okay, so I searched for images of Unsplash solar system. Here's what I found. I'm, I'm reading the prompt on my right side, um, right hand side. So it gave me eight images to choose from. And then if, if you notice it says step, click and hold to drag. Um, in. And then I selected one of the photos and I dragged it to the slide that I wanted to add the photos to. So if uh, this is the original slide, I just dragged this picture in, the, the one you see at the top. So you can always edit and the AI design partner in Gamma, for example, will help you with the images or whatever you want. I also asked it another prompt, so let's go next. So I also wanted to try other prompts that it provided. Here we have, I wanted, like, uh, I selected one of the cards. I wanted to see how it goes. So I selected to change this to a professional uh, voice, so which is the second one, um, to add how it sounds professional. And this, is, this was it gave me two options in the responses. So it showed me the original and the suggested. And if you notice in the suggested there, there is some changes in the language. So instead of navigation, it said historical navigation. And notice the language also is different a little bit. It tried to keep the content while improving the language. So it looks more professional. And if you notice on the 
the title as well says the importance of the sun and here it says the significance of the sun which sounds more professional all right let's move on okay so i just wanted to know if you have used any ai presentation tools before and would you recommend it and if you have a chance you can just post it in the comments or in the chat as well I see one of the responses here, Canva, if somebody used Canva. Now, something about Canva. Now, I have not included examples because, because there are so many tools here. I did not include Canva, but Canva really has that magic design feature that helps you. Let me switch this to myself. OK, so Canva has the magic design feature that you can use. So you, it will ask you to just um, type a topic and it will generate the slides for you so it asks the topic then you select us an outline i think or a style then it generates all the slides i just want to let you know so one thing about this magic design in canva is if you are on the free plan most often it generates content that has some preview um, premium images so most often you cannot download that so if you're using but if you want to see like to use it as an inspiration that will be great those who have a paid subscription on canva can just download those um slides as well so i just wanted to draw your attention to this point great but canva is also can give you great ideas for these um ai presentation makers all right, let's go back to the um, let me get to the slides. Okay. All right, so I also wanted to talk about uh, like or compare the eight. Uh, tools, top tools that I use. So I experimented with many of them and I found these eight to be the most reliable so far. I know there, there are others that I haven't seen or experimented with, which is, which is okay. For example, send steps is not on this list. So I created this list a week ago and yesterday as I was researching more, I discovered that there is, um, this send steps which was really cool so i thought that will be a good addition so that's why you so some slides have send steps but it's not on this because i did not give it enough time to experiment with to add it to this table but i will update this table on my blog site so you will notice that after some time that send steps will be on this list as well so here we have Eight, and you will find this in the second video that I uploaded a week ago. Uh, my favorite is actually the first three plus send steps now. So we have this table that compares um, that compares the five or eight tools based on the processing time. Maybe it's not very clear on this um, slide. So we have processing time in seconds, the quality of the images, and then the content, theme selection if you have options, and then free version. So for Tom, when I experimented with the solar system topic, it took 12 minutes only, so it was very fast. And if you notice also, these AI tools are very fast and except for slides GBT, but there's one advantage for slides GBT, uh, because it it really gives you or provides you with a lot of information. So it's very detailed. So you want to try. You can. You want to wait because it gives you good content. So we have Tom twelve seconds, um, Canva Magic Design is eleven seconds, and others like Simplified is twenty three seconds, Gamma is nineteen seconds. That is really fast. In terms of the images, so if you notice here, I looked at the images on Tom, 
Tom is wonderful in terms of images and how relevant the images to the content. So I really encourage you to try Tom, Gamma, simplified, although simplified sometimes, um, like um, provide you with images, but not very consistent sometimes. And I, what I also find in simplified, most of the templates are just same style. So there are no, no variety in that. All right, in terms of the information, so we have Tom is very comprehensive. Gamma, in addition to providing like comprehensive content, they're also engaging. The way it presents it is really engaging because sometimes the format is different. As, as we saw previously, so, so Tom um, provides you with an image then content, whereas Gamma has different format. It can give you a chart and a different format, a table. So it's just interesting. So uh, Gamma is completely free as it is in the beta uh, testing for now. So if you want, Gamma is a good tool to start with. Then we have information. So for Magic Slides, Slides AI, Canva, and ChatGPT, I found the information to be very limited and very like basic. So that's what I noticed. Um, and something to remember that these tools are improving every day. So the four tools that I experimented with like four months ago, I re-tested uh, them like two weeks ago for making the recent video. And I also included the differences in this table. So times were a little bit different before. If you notice in the first uh, presentation compared to the second one, there's an improvement in the time for slide GBT because that was the longest. And there were a few seconds less this time. Theme selection. So we have Tom extensive, extensive, simplified extensive. Then we have some of them are limited and some are standard, just giving you a few themes. Uh, the last column is regarding the free version. So can you upload in the or export in the free version? Here we have some tools will allow you to do that. Some do not. For example, for Tom, I said no here, but it can like it allows you to share online, but not to export. Slide GBT as well. Uh, for Slide GBT, if you want to download, you have to pay for single slides. Unlike Tom, where you subscribe to that uh, platform. And Canva Magic Design is also for paid subscribers as well. The rest of them are yes, so you can download that as well. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so this is our last um, section for this live stream is Q and A. And here I have some questions and I'll come to the questions um, in the chat in a minute. But here are some questions that people sent me when I asked them for registration or even before. So let's see some of the questions. This was a question that was posted yesterday in that registration. What are the best and free tools available that don't present major copyright issues? I don't want to support AI tools that take advantage of artists and their work. Okay, and as I said before, Gamma is so far, and I just took this screenshot uh, from Google, it's completely free for now to use because it's um, public beta, uh, it's in the testing time. So it's completely free, you wanna use it, it's beautiful and it produces really good slides. Um, some other tools, for example, the extensions, so we have Slides AI, uh, magic slides are also free. So you can just um, insert them as, install them as extensions um, on Google Slides. As I said before, Canva has magic slides. You cannot download them most often, but you can take some ideas from those um, slides as well. Um, yeah, so those are some of the free ones. Now, Tom, Tom produces um, 
images from DALI 2. And now since DALI 3 is out here, so it takes it from open sources. So if you want to go and find those images for your content. Um, yeah. Slice GBT gives you examples of images. So like it takes its images from Unsplash, which is a free resource for images. So you, whatever you find on that uh, slide GBT slides, you can get them um, for free from online resources. Here was another, an, another question that I was asked. Do you know any AI presentation maker which makes a creative presentation for the content we provide? So what I focused on today was like an AI presentation maker that you give it a topic and it produces slides. Here, this uh, viewer is asking if we have the content, we have the document, we have everything, and we just want to upload it there so it can produce slides. Here is what I know. I'll just give you an example of tools that I saw that feature is available. So, so we have send steps. If you go through the um, directions uh, to get to your slides, it, it has this feature. If you look at the bottom here, it says upload a document. So this is another presentation option. So you have the content. It will produce the slides according to that content. Another tool that does this as well is Slides AI. If you notice in the middle, so it says from a topic and it says beta, that's where you, you, where you enter the topic only, or your own text. And it gives you a space where you copy and paste um, the content that you want on the slides. One more is Tom. Dot app. I know this is all black. This is what Tom looked like. So if you notice one of the options in the middle, the very middle one is document to presentation. Here, it will give you a space where you paste the content and then it generates the slide with relevant um, images as well. So these are three options that you can have if you already have the content and you just want the slides and images. All right, before the thank you, let me just go through the, um, the questions I have in the comment. So I have the first comment here in Arabic. So gamma, it says gamma is better than Tom because you can export it. Yeah, but Tom has other features as well for I know both of them, you can edit the slides, but I agree. Yeah, since you have that feature of exporting, downloading, that will be great as well. Um, the second um, comment here, how to change the images in Gamma? That's a really good question. I think in Gamma, you also have that. Let me just go to that slide. That's a really good question. So the slide I showed you here, which is the very first one. Okay, let me just project this. Here we have. So if you notice, notice here on the right side, it gives you a lot of options. As far as I see, there's a font change. There should be something here regarding the images here. So if you want to change the images, it should be one of these features on your right. Interesting. Okay, uh, a third comment is interesting. So that is, I think this uh, this person is asking, can we add these animations on the text as it is in PowerPoint? That's a really good question. I haven't thought of that before, but let me look into this question and I definitely will post it somewhere um, when I'm posting this on YouTube. So um, just um, I'll look into this and post it in the comments as well. That's a really good question. Thank you for the questions. All right. So this is the end of our live stream. 
I really thank you very much for joining me here. And I wish you a good day. And if you are watching from a different, um, different time zone, I know it's night sometimes with you. So I really thank you very much for joining here in this live. And I hope to see you in future live streams. Thank you so much.